What is up everybody? Welcome back to Power Action Clicks. And today I got a special unboxing of the Marvel Studios Hero Clicks next phase set for you guys. Let's just dive right into it. Starting with this booster. You know, what I'm really looking for in this set is maybe a couple of the super rares, uh, like Werewolf by Night, uh, Elsa would be good to have. Any of the gods, of course, it, those are probably going to be the most uh, sought after things in this set. Um, a couple of the secret rares I think are pretty good. And besides that, oh, Wong, that's the secret rare I was missing. I am curious to see uh, what from this set is going to be used in pulp. So let's just open the first pack here. We got Ronin, uh, Wrecker, is that Yelena, one of those demons. Um, Ronin, that's definitely a good one to have here. Uh, trying to, it'll be interesting if people see if this guy sees any play in pulp. I'm um, trying to run up to this guy and attack him. He definitely can throw the hurt on you. And our booster number two. Let's see here. What do we got? Oh, Miss Marvel. Uh, oh, yeah, the guy with the sword. Who is that again? Uh, oh, I'm not even going to. I'm just going to call him Jack. <laughs> the Leapfrog. We got a Groot. All right. Yeah, a lot of people are actually pretty disappointed in this Miss Marvel, but it's hard to compare to the last one we had. And uh, I think it was Avenger 60th was the last one we had. That one was really good. And pack number three here. Oh, this one's kind of light. I haven't opened a really heavy one yet. And Hulk. Oh, that is the rare Moon Knight. So that's a good pull for me. And nothing else too special in here. One of these goons. I actually haven't gotten one of these goons yet. I have already opened up about... A uh, few packs before this from the pre-releases. So, yeah, the Moon Knight's definitely one out of there. That's one I'm looking for. And keep going here. This one, yeah, I haven't really seen any that... Only thing I can imagine being really heavy is Abomination. If you haven't seen that guy, he is super tall. Uh, Trick Arrow. Uh, the Clint. Uh, that's the rare Clint. And the common Clint in here. And Mr. Immortal. This is actually my third Trick Arrow. So. <laughs> And speak of the devil. <laughs> Abomination. Look how tall this guy is, the size comparison. Wow. Uh, in the pre-release, I did use the Obama State ability pretty decently, so a team with it a try. And nothing else too good here. Um, oh, that's my first Madison. I'll take a look at that one. On to the next one. We got this is the two after this one we got four more packs left. Alright. Couple of goons. Oh, and that that's my chase. Baby Groot. That's 
another one I guess we'll have to take a look at here. And so we did hit the chase and we did hit two super rares so far. Keep moving. And this is the, what, seventh pack? So I think, yeah. So not expected too much more out of these. Maybe another secret rare would be nice. Uh, and then the common Moon Knight. This is my first time actually pulling these three here. And two more boxes. Yeah, it's, it's been hard to say with this set. It's uh, oh, another trick arrow. Man, there's just going to be arrows flying around everywhere. I guess that's what they wanted, right? Uh, I did get a Kingpin. So first time I think I'm seeing him. And he's just a rare. It's kind of cool to have. I don't mind having some of these figures, even if I don't use them in Hero Clicks. I do play the Marvel RPG, like my fourth arrow. <laughs> so, one more after this. And we got Lucky. That looks like really it right here. Got the Prime Kingpin. All right, not bad. So yeah, out of that whole brick, this is what I really got that I wanted. So why I was really excited about this set is I wanted to play some sealed. It's like this is really all I got out of this brick um, that I wanted. And taking a look at Kingpin, he has I am the ill intent willpower. Opposing characters within four squares can't use willpower. He has the defense power, take your shot, invincible, mastermind, protected outwit, but only from characters of lower point value. All right. And then he has the city belongs to me, leadership and outwit. And he's got the underworld uh, team ability. He's got the 90... The 90 point starting line and the 50 point starting line. And then let's take a look at the rare Moon Knight. He is deity, herald, mystical, scientist, uh, soldier, and warrior. He's 200 points, wow. Got the cosmic team ability and the mystics team ability. I didn't realize he had soldier. Uh, Khonshu's healing suit is his traded ability. Free, heal Moon Knight one click. And then uh, the next traded ability he has is Conchu's Vengeance. Free, choose an opposing character that damaged a friendly character since your last turn. Place Moon Knight such that he can make a close attack targeting the chosen character, then do so. And he has a wide array of uh, abilities here. Looks like he has three stop clicks, improved movement through characters. He is targeting through hindering. His uh, stop clicks, his defense ability stop clicks, they are called time out. Let's all calm down, yeah? With uh, stop and super senses. Then he has a damage ability. I've been known to go too far. Battle fury, exploit weakness. And that is the rare moon knight. And then taking a look at Ronin, he has the traded ability. My job has always been to hurt people. Uh, sidestep. When a friendly character is KO'd until the end of your next turn, Ronin can use Charge and Flurry. Then he has the attack ability. They got Thanos. You get me. Uh, Blades, Claws, Fangs, Steel, Energy. Once per turn, when Ronin KOs a character after resolutions, he may move up to two squares and make a close attack. He has improved movement through characters. He has four range and dual targeting. He's 55 points. He does have a stop click at the end of his dial. Don't give me hope. Stop. Replace Ronin with a character named Clint Barton or Hawkeye of equal or less points than Ronin or their last non-KO click. 
If you do, heal that character two clicks. All right. Yeah, he's good. And then Madison, or traded ability, Wongers with shape change. Once per game, when Madison would take damage, you may instead place Madison adjacent to a friendly character with a mystical keyword. If you do, turn Madison to click number three. If that character is named Wong, you may turn her to click number one instead. Uh, she's only got three clicks long. She's 20 points with willpower. A couple of other abilities here. Her movement ability, two N's, one Y, but it's not where you think. At the beginning of your turn, roll a d6. On one, an, opposing, an opponent places Madison up to one square away from her current square. On two through six, move Madison up to two squares. Packed with Jake. Uh, perplex, Madison may use it a second time each turn if she's adjacent to a friendly character with the mystical keyword. Not bad, actually, for 20 points. Double perplex. And moving on, Abomination. He's got, of course, the Obama State Mindfulness, which I actually found pretty useful in Sealed. And Motivational Speaker with Support. This is a trait, by the way. When a friendly character removes an action token from themselves, modify their attack plus one this turn. That's not bad. If there's one that increases the damage, that'd be really good for Obama State. Uh, he has the starting dials at 100 and another one at 65. He has zero range. Uh, invincible, sidestep, super strength, empower, perplex, charge, and impervious. And he has another trait. Uh, this is a safe environment. When establishing theme teams, you may choose another character with the brute or monster keyword this game. That character gains the Obama State keyword and can use the Obama State Mindfulness trait. Wow, I didn't realize he did that. That's, that is pretty interesting. So you could make um, like Doomsday or somebody. And lastly, let's look at Kingpin, the prime in this brick. So he has uh, the traded ability, Tracksuit Mafia. Friendly characters of 30 points or less can use toughness and modify attack and damage plus one. There are no lines in this business. Stealth. Power, uh, power action, choose up to two friendly characters of 30 points or less within six squares. Move those characters up to two squares each. They may each make an attack. All right, so he's running the gang here. He does have the 55 point starting line, zero range, underworld team ability. He has the defense ability. Not everyone deserves a happy ending. Mastermind, toughness, Kingpin's other powers have protected that wit. Okay. And that's the whole dialogue. And then he has just a man with a dream as his damage uh, ability here with leadership and outwit. It's pretty common for Kingpin. It's not bad, but I mean, he is taking up a prime spot. The chase that we pulled here was Baby Groot. Uh, Let's look at what he's got. Of course, he has the shifting focus. I am Groot, uh, just like all the Groots in this set. He has the traded ability, Mud Bath, regeneration, but only if Baby Groot occupies water water terrain. When a friendly character occupying water terrain would heal, the heal an additional click. Uh, he has forty point starting line. He has zero range. He has the uh, movement through water. He is tiny. It looks like he does have support, toughness, and stealth. And then on the back, he has his mud puddle. Smoke cloud is free, but, but I think it's supposed to say, but with water terrain instead of smoke. Smoke cloud is free, but with water terrain instead of smoke. Okay, it's not bad. I mean, that's very useful for any team that needs water. And that is it for this unboxing. Thank you all for checking it out. Uh, hopefully I gave you a good idea on what to expect out of this set. And we will catch you on the next video.